that I discovered that the reclining Buddha was very specific because the, the reclining Buddha represented Buddha in its twi the, the twilight of his life when he was actually celebrating the fact that he had reached enlightenment. And that the enlightenment came and it went. And he was back to suffering. And he was ready to die. But he was okay with it. Because he got a taste of enlightenment. So the Elegva, the Eshu character, the kid on the skateboard, right? Yeah. With, with, you know, with a hook trying to catch a butterfly. That's the trickster deity from Nigeria, Elegba. He's the communicator. He's the, the, um, the deity of communication. He's the one that we make offerings to. He's the one that, we, uh, he's the, the, the enforcer, the trickster. So if we, you know, we think we're all that, he'll create an occurrence that will remind us that, you know what? Don't bring it down. You know what I mean? Bring it down because you ain't all that. He's the owner of the intersection because he represents the ability to go to a place to make a decision, which is an intersection. Intersection, you, when you go to an intersection, you have to decide which direction you're going to. Well, the brain works that way, right? Mm -hmm. Eshu, Elegba, represents the ability to define and decide what it is that you're doing, you know? And that's why he's a trickster, you know? Why is he on a skateboard? Well, because life is tricky. Oh, okay. I noticed that the, the skateboard has dice and dominoes in it. Yeah. which is all chance. You know what I mean? So I tell people, yeah, every day we get up in the morning, you got to dance with chance.